so hello guys and welcome to my channel sir. today in this video we'll see some important numericals on illumination sir. so first we'll see so we'll see two formulas that will be helpful in calculating the numericals sir. and here the very first one is to calculate the number of fitting needles here to calculate the number of fitting needles we have the formula as n as we have n equals to e into a upon o into f into mf and where n represents the fitting needle similarly we have e as required illumination in logs and a is the working area in square meters and o is equals to luminous flux produced per lamp lumens and here sometimes o is also represented as f and uf is the utilization factors are also sometimes called as coefficient of utilization and emf is the maintenance factors so this is the formula to calculate the number of fitting needed or to calculate the number of lamp and uh, sometimes uh, the depreciation factor is given and maintenance factor is not given sir. so with the help of depreciation factors you can calculate the maintenance factor as maintenance factor equals to 1 upon depreciation factors so we can use these relations to calculate the maintenance factors and the second important formula is here to calculate the number of projector needed so we have n as a into a into waste light factors into depreciation factors upon utilization factors into wattage of lamp into luminous efficiency of lamp and here n represents the number of projectors and a is the area of surface to be illuminated in meter squares and similarly we have e as illuminations level required in lumen per meter squares so let's see some important numericals that are asked in the final exams so here we have two lamp posts are 14 meter apart and are fitted with 200 candle power lamp is at a height of 5 meters above the ground calculate here first we have to calculate the illuminations midway between the between them and second we have the illuminations under each lamp so we have given as candle power each lamp as 200 cp similarly height of each lamp each lamp from the ground is same and that is 5 meters and the distance between two lamp is given as here 14 meters so here you can see the lamp L1 is here placed here and similarly lamp L2 is placed here sir. and uh, that is 5 meter above the ground so lamp L1 is 5 meter above similarly lamp L2 is also 5 meter above the ground since both have the same height and here we have to calculate the illumination midway between them means illumination at this point and in the second uh, we have calculated the illumination under each lamp means either way we can calculate the illuminations at this point A or whether at point B so first let's see the illumination midway between them means midpoint so here the illumination midway between them between the lamp will be C is called illumination due to lamp L1 so we have we are calculating here the illuminations midway between the lamp means EC so the issue will be the illumination due to lamp L1 this this is coming from here lamp L1 similarly the illuminations due to lamp L2 at this point so illumination due to lamp L1 will be candle power upon this height square since candle power is given as 200 cp so 200 upon and here the height is at 5 meters so 5 square into cos cube theta plus 200 similarly for here illumination due to lamp L2 so 200 candle power is given upon height similarly the height for L2 is also 5 meters so 200 upon 5 cube into cos cube theta and here this angle theta and again this theta dash rcm similarly this theta 1 and similarly this theta 1 dash are the same so we can calculate theta as here if we calculate theta we get cos cube theta as 5 upon 8.6 cube you can use here we have 5 meters and this is 7 meters so using Pythagoras theorem, so we can you uh, can calculate the value of this. So we have on calculating we will get here 8.6 meters. So cos cube theta will be here 5 upon 5 upon 8.6 to the power cube. So on solving we will get here 3.144 logs. Similarly, the illumination under each lamp. So illuminations under either either of the lamp C a lamp. 2 means lamp L2 so EV will be the illuminations due to lamp L1 plus illumination due to lamp L1 so to calculate EV we can directly calculate here 
one illumination is coming from here to calculate at point B and similarly and the illumination from L1 is coming from here in this way so we have to calculate the point EB here so to calculate EB here we have EB equal to illumination due to lamp L1 plus illumination due to lamp L2 so we'll have candle power upon height 5 square given into cos cube theta 1 plus 200 upon 5 square so on calculating theta 1 we'll use here as 5 upon so cos cube theta 1 will be 5 upon 14.87 to the power cube plus 1 so on solving we will get here 8.3 logs and here we have the important another numericals a hall 50 meter long and 50 meter wide with a ceiling height of 5 meters given is to be provided with a general illumination of 120 lumens per meter squares and taking a coefficient of utilization of 0.5 and a depreciation factor given as here 1.42 determine the number of fluorescent tubes required their spacing mounting height and the total wattage take luminous efficiency of fluorescent tube as 40 lumens per watt for 80 watt tube here we have given area as here 30 meter into 15 meter wide it means area is given as 30 into 50 means for 50 meter squares and similarly illumination E is given as here E 120 lumen per meter square given as here 120 given the equation 120 lumen per meter square similarly the utilization factor is given as 0 0.5 and here we have MF is equals to 1 upon 4 point, 1 upon 4 4 2 since we have given here as a depreciation factor so marginal factor is calculated as 1 upon depreciation factor so marginal factor will be 1 upon 1.42 and the luminous efficiency of fluorescent tube is given as 40 lumens per watt. So I, as mentioned above, to calculate here the cross lumen required is calculated as A into A, A into E upon UF into MF. So we have given the value of A, similarly we have E and similarly we have UF and also we have MF. So if you substitute all the value of the, all the parameters, we'll get here 153360 lumens. And the total what is required will be this lumens upon 40 and here we have given as 40 as luminous efficiency of fluorescent tube given as 40 lumens per watt so the total what is required will be this lumens upon that luminous efficiency of fluorescent tube so we will get here 3834 watt and to calculate the number, uh, number of fluorescent tube required you will get I will write here this total what is required upon here we have 80 watt tube so upon it you will get here 48 and assume here we have mounting height ratio is not a mounting height ratio not given so for that we will use assuming mounting height s as 3 meters so a space height ratio is calculated as a space or a spacing of lamp upon mounting height of the lamp so from here we will get the spacing so spacing will be this mounting height into a space height ratio and mounting height we have assumed 3 similarly space height ratio will assume here 1 so we will get here 3 now to calculate the number of lamps in horizontal directions we will use the formula length of room upon spacing so length of room is given as 30 meters and spacing uh, here we have calculated as 3 so we will get here 10 means 10 lamp will be placed in horizontal directions similarly to place the vertical uh, to place the lamp in vertical direction so we have the total number of lamps required will be breadth of room upon a spacing so breadth of room is given as 15 similarly a spacing is given as 3 so we will calculate the 5 means number of lamp required is 5 in vertical directions means 5 lamp will be placed in the vertical directions so here we have length as 30 meter given similarly here we have breadth as 15 meters so in horizontal directions altogether we have 10 lamp placed so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and each will have a spacing of 3 meters since a spacing we have calculated 3 meters and similarly in this vertical directions altogether 5 lamp will be placed having the spacing of 3 meters so this is the arrangement of lamp Similarly, we have the next numericals. Here we have estimate the number and wattage of lamp. 
which would be required to illuminate a workshop a space of 60 meter into 15 meters by means of lamp mounted 5 meters above the working plane and the average illumination required is 100 lux and coefficient of utilization is 0.42 similarly maintenance factor is given as 0.8 and luminous efficiency is given as 16 lumen per watt and space height ratio as unity unity means 1 so here we have area as 16 to 15 so you get here 900 meter square similarly e as 100 lux given in the equations similarly uf means utility factor is 0.42 and mf is 0.78 and the luminous efficiency is also given as 16 lumen per watt as mentioned in the equations. So, with the given data, we'll, we'll calculate first, we'll first calculate the gross lumen required. So, cal to calculate the gross lumen required, we have the formula as E into A upon UF into MF and we have already, and all the parameters are given here, E into A upon UF into MF. So, on substituting all the parameters, we'll get here 274725 means gross lumen required will be this. Similarly, the total watt is required will be means this gross lumen per watt upon 16 means luminous efficiency is given as a 16 lumen per watt. So we'll get here 17170 watt means total watt is required will be this. And to calculate the spacing height, so a spacing will get here mounting height into space height ratio. Mounting height is given as 5 meters, given in the equation 5 meters, and space height ratio we have to assume as you uh, given in the equation as unity. Unity means 1, so 5 into 1 will be 5 meters, means the spacing will be right now 5 meters. Now, number of lamp in horizontal directions will be length of room upon a spacing, and the length of room is given as 60, and similarly, a spacing just now we have calculated as 5 meters. So, lamp means number of lamp in horizontal directions will be 12 means 12 lamp will be placed in the horizontal directions. Similarly, you can calculate the number of lamps in vertical directions. So, if you calculate, we will get here 3. So, 3 lamp will be placed in a vertical direction. So, we can show the arrangement as follows. So, here we have all together in 60 meter length, we have 12 lamp placed in horizontal direction similarly 3 lamp is placed in vertical direction means here in horizontal direction altogether 2 lamp is placed with a space with a spacing of here 5 meters and similarly in vertical direction altogether we have 3 lamp placed with a spacing of 5 meters so this is the arrangement of lamp and again we have important numerical as and this is also asked in the final exam questions. So an office 25 meter into 12 meters is illuminated by 40 watt. Incandescent lamp of lumen output of 2700 lumens given here. And the average illumination required at the workplace is 200 lux. And calculate the number of lamp required to be fitted in the office. Assume utilization and depreciation factor as 0 0.65 utilization factor given as and depreciation factor is given as 1.25 respectively. So we have given area, illuminations, E, lumen output, lumen output we, we represent as over here, so 2700 lumens and utility factor given, similarly depreciation factor given and with the help of depreciation factor we can calculate the maintenance factor. So MF will be 1 upon DF, we will get a 0 0.8. So, here we have to calculate the number of lamps needed. So number of lamp lamp needed the N will be E into A upon O into F into MF. So on so we will get here 4.3 lamps. So that is equal value into 4. And now here we have this numerical is asked in 14 spring of Pokhara University. And let's see this. So the candle power of lamp is 120. So 120 candle power given as given here and a plane surface is placed at a distance of 2.5 meters from this lamp. Calculate the illuminations on the surface when it is normal and in second we have an incident to 45 degree and the third one is parallel to rays. So first is first to calculate the illuminations on the surface when it is normal. So in normal condition we have E is as E equals to candle power upon D square. So candle power gain has 120 upon distance is 2.5 meters. So 2.5 square will get here 19.2 lux. Similarly, the illuminations on the surface when incident to 45 degree. So when incident to 5, uh, 45 degree, the illumination will be E is equals to candle power upon D square into cos 45 degree. So we'll get here 13.58 lux. 
and the third is parallel to x rays so the illumination will be here in this case will be zero since the rays of the light are parallel to the surface they cannot illuminate it so the illumination for this will be zero now here two similar lamp having uniform intensity of 500 candle power in all directions below the horizontals are mounted at a height of 4 meters what must be the maximum spacing between the lamp so that the illuminations on the ground midway between the lamp shall be at at least one half the illuminations directly under the lamp so this numerical is quite similar to the numericals solved in the first examples here we have one lamp L1 similar to other lamp L2 and they both are placed 4 meter above and we have to calculate here the maximum spacing between the lamps so that the illuminations on the ground midway between the lamps shall be at least one half of the illuminations directly under the lamp. So assume the distance between A and B is D. So midway between these the distance will be from A to B C will be D upon 2 similarly from C to B will be D upon 2. Now to calculate the e, uh, to calculate EC, will you have EC is equals to 2 into illuminations due to either lamp. So 2 into candle power is given as 500, so 500 upon S square and into cos cube theta. So to calculate here, here we have cos cube theta, yes. So to calculate the EC, we will have 2 into illumination due to either lamp. So 2 into 500 upon H square into cos cube theta. So 2 into 500 upon S in place of S we have here 5 meter, 4 meter given. And this is also 4 meter. So 2 into 500 upon 4 square upon into a cos cube theta means we have to calculate this angle theta. So using Pythagoras theorems, we can calculate the value of here theta. So cos theta will be here 4 upon root under 4 square plus d upon 2 square to the power cube. So it will be 4000 upon 16 plus d square upon 4 to the power 3 upon 2. And to calculate EB, so EB will be illumination due to lamp L1 plus illumination due to lamp L2. So illumination due to lamp L1 will be, means we, have, we are calculating here the point EB. So illumination due to the point L1. And similarly, illumination due to the point this from here L2. So it will be candle power given as 500, so 500 upon H square and cos cube theta 1, since the angle made by this will be theta 1, sir. and an illumination due to lamp L2. So it will directly fall from here L2. So there will be no any angles. Sir. So 500 upon H square. Sir. So you right here 500 upon H square cos cube theta 1 plus 1. And so cos theta 1 will be here 4 upon root under 4 square plus d square to the power q plus 1. Sir. So we will get here 2000 upon 16 plus d square to the power 3 upon 2 plus 500 upon 16. Sir. Now as mentioned in the questions here we have to calculate the maximum spacing between the lamps so that the illuminations on the ground midway between the lamps shall be at least one half of the illumination directly under the lamp. So this is the condition. It means EC is equals to half EB. So we have calculated EC. Similarly, we have calculated EB. So EC is equals to 4000 upon 16 plus D square upon 4 to the power 3 upon 2. And e, EB is equals to here 1 upon 2 into EB. The value of EB is this. So they will directly use this, type this value in the calculators and we will press shift and calc, calc and we have to calculate the value at x equal to 0 so we will directly get the value of d as 9.56 so here just put these all values in terms of x in the calculators and then press shift and calc and calculate the value at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 you will get the value of d as 9.56 type this equation in the calculators in terms of x press shift First press shift and then calc and 
कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू एट एक्स इक्वल डी सुल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी एच हेयर नाइन पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स मीटर से सो दिस इज आवर रिक्वायर्ड आंसर सर एंड एनदर इंपोर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल इज हेयर अ लैंप ऑफ टू हंड्रेड कैंडल इज प्लेस्ड वन मीटर बिलो ऑफ प्लेन मीटर विच रिफ्लेक्स एटी फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ लाइट फॉलिंग ऑन इट एंड द लैंप इज हॉन्ग फाइव मीटर ग्राउंड फाइंड द इल्यूमिनेशन एट ए पॉइंट एंड द ग्राउंड फोर मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द पॉइंट वर्टिकली बिलो द लैंप एंड हेयर अ लैंप ऑफ टू हंड्रेड कैंडल पावर इज प्लेस्ड वन मीटर बिलो द प्लेन मीटर मीन्स हेयर यू हैव अ प्लेन मीटर दिस गिव सोन अ प्लेन मीटर इज प्लेस्ड and here is placed 1 meter below of plane mirror means a, a lamp of 200 candle 200 candle is placed 1 meter below a plane mirror means here we have a lamp which has a power of 200 candles and is placed below 1 and is placed from this plane mirror so here figure 1 shows the lamp and the mirror arrangement so the lamp yield produces an image yield as as far behind the mirror as as it is in the font and here we have given as a 5 meter length so this will be 1 meters so similarly the image will be the same means this will be also 1 meters and and here the height of image from the ground will be right now this 5 plus 1 6 and again plus 1 this will be 7 meters now yield dash acts as the secondary source of light and its candle power will be means candle power will be which reflects it means here we have given 85 percent is of light falling on it means 85 percent means 0.85 into candle power given as 200 so 200 will get here 170 candles now we have to calculate here eb so if we calculate eb as so eb will be illumination due to yield plus illumination due to yield dash means right now the illumination will be from here means from l and similarly the illumination due to this l dash so if you calculate the sum uh, we will calculate illumination due to l plus the so, uh, plus illumination due to l dash will get the illumination at this point eb so eb equal to illumination due to l plus illumination due to l dash so will use candle power on h square means candle power on 5 square into cos cube theta plus candle power e for illumination l dash is 170 here right now we have just calculated 170 so 170 upon 7 square so cos cube theta also so just calculate the value of theta and theta dash and substitute will get here 6.08 logs here and similarly we have the next one as the font of a building 45 meter into 20 meters is illuminated by 20 10 20000 watt lamp arranged so that uniform illumination on the surface is obtained assuming a luminous efficiency of 18 lumen per watt and utility by uf is given as 0.4 bias light factor 0.1.2 and depreciation factor given as 1.3 so determine the illumination on the surface so the area will be 45 into 20 Nine hundred meter squares, and all together we have an a given as twenty. Here we have given as twenty thousand lamp. So luminous efficiency is given as eighteen, means lumen lumen per watt. Similarly, U F given as utility factor as zero point four, and waste light factor is one point two, and similarly we have depreciation factors. So we can directly use the formula as n equals to a into e into waste light factor into D F upon U F into waste. Of lamp into luminous efficiency. So from this we can calculate the value of E here. So on solving we will get here E as one zero two point five six lumen per meter square. Sir. So this is the illumination on the surface. Sir. And now. and this is also one of the important numericals and this is frequently asked in the exam here we have two 220 lamp 220 volt lamps one of 60 watt and other of 75 watt are connected in series across a 400 supply and calculate the potential drop across each lamp ne neglecting any variation in the resistance assuming 
कैंडल पावर टू बी प्रोपोर्शनल टू द फोर्थ पावर ऑफ द वोल्टेज एंड एंड कैलकुलेट द कैंडल पावर ऑफ द इस लैम्प अंडर द कंडीशन एज परसेंटेज ऑफ इट्स वैल्यू अंडर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सो हेयर वी हैव गिवेन एज एज्यूमिंग द कैंडल पावर टू बी प्रोपोर्शनल टू द फोर्थ पावर ऑफ वोल्टेज फोर्थ पावर ऑफ वोल्टेज मीन्स गिवेन कंडीशन एज कैंडल पावर इक वैरीज बी टू द पावर फोर एंड हेयर वी हैव द सर्किट डायग्राम्स टू रजिस्टर आर प्लेस्ड इयर्स एंड वोल्टेज सोर्स ऑफ फोर एंड वोल्ट इज गिवेन एंड टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट लैम्प हेयर ए लैम्प एल वन मीन्स टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट एंड द रेस्पेक्टिव पावर इज गिवेन एज सिक्सटी वाट एंड सेवेंटी फाइव वाट सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट आर वन एज आर वन इज कॉल्स टू मीन्स बी स्क्वायर अपन पावर सिंस यू नो पी कॉल्ड बी स्क्वायर अपन आर सो टू कैलकुलेट आर वन वी हैव आर वन इज कॉल्स टू ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर अपन सिक्सटी सो विल गेट हेयर एट जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स एन ओम सिमिलरली टू कैलकुलेट आर टू विल गेट हेयर सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ओ ओम्स नाउ यूजिंग वोल्टेज डिवाइडर फॉर्मूला वी कैन राइट हेयर वी एज वी वन एज वी इन टू आर वन अपन आर वन प्लस आर टू सो ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग आई ऑन सब्सिट्यूटिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज जस्ट वी हैव कैलकुलेट आर वन एंड आर टू सो विल गेट हेयर टू फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फोर फाइव वोल्ट सिमिलरली टू कैलकुलेट वी टू विल गेट वी विल गेट वी टू इज कॉस्ट वी इन टू आर टू अपन आर वन प्लस आर टू विल गेट हेयर वन नाइनटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फाइव वोल्ट एंड नाउ कैंडल पावर ऑफ सिक्सटी वाट लैम्प अपन नॉर्मल कैंडल पावर इज गिवन एज वी वन अपन वी टू द पावर फोर सिंस कैंडल पावर इज इज कैंडल पावर वैर इज फोर्थ पावर सी पी वैर इज वी टू द पावर फोर एज मैं इन द कंडीशन सिंस यू एफ सी पी वैर इज वी टू वी टू द पावर फोर हेयर सो द कैंडल पावर सिक्सटी वाट लैम्प अपन नॉर्मल कैंडल पावर विल बी वी वन अपन वी टू द पावर फोर एंड नॉर्मल कैंडल पावर इज नॉट मैं एंड सो हेयर कैंडल पावर ऑफ सिक्सटी वाट लैम्प विल बी मीन्स वी वन वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एंड वी एज एंड वी इज गिवन एज टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट टू द पावर फोर इन टू एंड विल एज्यूम हैज हेयर हंड्रेड परसेंटेज ऑफ कैंडल पावर अंडर द नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन एट टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सो विल गेट हेयर वन फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंटेज ऑफ कैंडल पावर अंडर नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन एट टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सिमिलरली कैंडल पावर सेवेंटी फाइव वाट लैम्प विल बी मीन्स वी वन अपन वी टू द पावर फोर एंड फोर सेवेंटी फाइव वाट विल है वी टू सो वी टू अपन वी टू द पावर फोर इंटू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज ऑफ कैंडल पावर अंडर नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन एट टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सो विल गेट हेयर सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फोर टू टू परसेंटेज ऑफ कैंडल पावर अंडर नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन एट टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सो दीज आर द रिक्वायर्ड एंसर्स सिमिलरली वी हैव हेयर एंड इल्यूमिनेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव क्लॉक्स इज टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ रूम ट्वेल्व मीटर इंटू नाइन मीटर्स एंड एटीन लैम्प आर यूज टू प्रोड्यूस दिस इल्यूमिनेशन इन द रूम्स एंड इफ फिफ्टी परसेंटेज ऑफ द इमीडियट लाइट फॉल्स ऑन द फ्लोर वाट इज द पावर ऑफ द लैम्प इन कैंडेला सो हेयर वी हैव गिवेन एज ई एज ट्वेंटी फाइव क्लॉक्स एंड ए गिवेन एज ट्वेल्व मीटर इंटू नाइन मीटर्स सिमिलरली यू एफ गिवेन एज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड पावर लैम्प इन कैंडल यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट हेयर and a number and a number of lamp is given as 18 and we know the formula to calculate the number of lamp as e into a into df upon uf into f and here df is not mentioned so we'll assume it as 1 so if you substitute all the values you'll get here value of uf as 300 lumens and what is the power of the lamp in candela so we have to calculate the power so we know I is equals to F upon W, so F is calculated as 300 lumens, and omega is equal to 4 pi, so we get here 23.501 candela. So this is the required power. Now here we have the next one. A football pitch 120 meter into 60 meter is to be illuminated. For night play by similar bank of equal thousand tent equal thousand watt lamp is supported on a tubal tower. Here we have mentioned tubal tower, which are distributed around the ground to provide approximate of uniform illumination of the piece. Assuming 40 percent of light emitted reaches the playing piece and illumination of thousand lumen per meter square is necessary for television purpose. Calculate the number of lamp on each towers and the overall efficiency of the lamp is to be taken as Thirty lumen per watt. Thirty lumen per watt. So here we have given the parameter as 
where you have given a means area given e similarly given uf and similarly we have given the wattage of each lamp similarly we have given the efficiency of lamp and here the marginal factor is missing so we will assume the marginal factor as 1 and here the formula to calculate the normal lamp is e into e upon mf into f into lumen per watt into wattage of each lamp so on substituting all the values we will get here 600 lamp and here number, num, number of lamp on each tower since we have all together 12 towers so to 600 upon 12 we will get here 50 means the number of lamp on each tower will be 50 Similarly, we have the next one, and this is also frequently asked in numericals. A, a 250 volt lamp has a flux of 1500 lumens and a takes current of 0 0.4 amperes. Calculate lumens per watt. Similarly, in the second, we have calculated MSCP per watt. So we have V as 250 volt, F as 1500 lumens, and I as 0 0.4 amperes. So to calculate power, we have P is equal to V into I. So we'll get here 100 watt. Similarly, lumen per watt is calculated as uh, 1500 lumen given. So 1500 upon this 100 watt. We'll get here 15 lumen per watt. Similarly, MSCP per watt will be I upon P. So I will be calculated as F upon 4 pi up into 1 upon P. So 1500 upon 4 pi into 1 upon P and P is calculated as 100. So 1 upon 100 will get here 1.19366 lumen per watt. And similarly, we have a building front frontage 50 meter into 16 meters is to be illuminated by floor lighting project situated 25 meters away. And if the illumination is 100 logs, coefficient of utilization is 0 0.5. Similar depreciation factor is given as 1.5. Waste light factor is given as 1.2. Estimate the number of projectors used. 1000 watt lamp with luminous efficiency of 18 lumens per watt. So number of projectors we have the formula is E into A into DF into waste light factors into EF into luminous efficacy into wattage of lamp. And luminous efficacy is given 18 lumens per watt. So once we substitute all the value we will get here number of projectors as 16. And now this one is the last numericals and this is also asked in the final exam. Now here we have an illumination on the working plane of 75 blocks is needed in a room of 72 into 15, 15 meter in size. The lamp are needed to hang 4 meters above the work bench. Assume a suitable space height ratio or utilization factors of 0.4 and a lamp efficiency of 14 lumens per watt and a candle power depreciation of 20% is given. And estimate the number, rating, and dis and disposition of lamp. So cal to calculate MF, we have MF equal to have 20% so 1 minus 0 0.2 means 0 0.8 it will be maintenance factors. Similarly, assuming the space height ratio as 1 meter. And the spacing between lamp will be now S is equals to and height is given as 4 meters. So 4 into uh, 4 into 1 should so get here 4 meters. Now number of lamp across the length. And we have across the length we have 75 upon 4 means length is given as 72 meters and spacing is given as 4 meters so number of lamp will be 18 similarly number of lamp across the breadth will be so breadth upon spacing breadth is given as 15 upon spacing is 4 means 3.75 and that will be equivalent to 4 means 4 lamp will be placed along the breadth across the breadth so total, total number of lamp will be this 18 into 4 so that will be 18 into 4 will be, is going to give 72 means total number of lamp needed will be 72 and now gross lumens, we have the formula of gross lumens E into A upon UF into MF. So once you substitute all the values, you will get here 202500. And total wattage of lamp will be, means this gross lumen upon 14. Gross lumen upon 14 and here we have 14 given as here, lamp efficiency is given as 14 lumens per watt. So total wattage of lamp will be this gross lumens upon Luminous efficiency. So 14464.285 watt. This will be the total wattage of the lamp. Similarly, the wattage of each lamp will be means total wattage of lamp will be 14464.285 and wattage of each lamp. Since altogether we have total lamp equals to 72. 
So if you divide this total water is a lamp by 72, you get here the water is of Islam. So the water is of Islam will be 200.89 water. So these are the uh, important numericals that are asked in the final examinations. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching this.